if they're making money, they got to pay their debt back first, right? Right. I, if you if you Tony had two fi- if you had a fucking penumbra and a comment, we'd be having a totally different conversation with you right now. 100%. You know what I mean? No, I mean I I I agree to the fullest. Yeah, I mean, fucking Octo guy bought all two those fucking runs. Cars. You know, I do agree. I should have, you know, it should have been me in the passenger seat and not his wife. I do agree on that. We spoke about it. And, uh, you know. We need think, to know, right, yeah. if Octo is fully bought in. I mean, he's in, but yeah, to be honest in, with you, is, is he he, but, but to be honest with you, he's not a Don, right? He was here before Luciano. You know what I'm saying? You see what it's like, in, in you know, it could, it could kind of get a little, you see what I'm saying? I don't see it, to be honest. It. No, I don't see he it. Should, I don't see you it. Should what, what you should fucking act mean? like a Don if you want to be a Don then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if, if Octo has, let's say he had the aspirations to be a Don, he should act like one, right? Right, I'm not, I'm not good. saying he should, okay? I'm not, no, no, I'm not I know, saying I know, he should No, no, I know you're not saying that. I'm just saying, like, in general, right, right? When, when we brought Luciano in, everything Luciano has done so far has been for the crew first. I mean, listen, I'm not going to take it there, right? I, this motherfucker even put his wife second for the fucking crew, okay? I was gonna I say, agree. you you can you look at Luciano and you can tell this guy is crew first no matter what. Right. Ninety eight percent of his work goes towards the fuck crew. Now, if you compare it to Octo, and I'm not trying to disrespect Octo, I don't got a problem with the guy. I like the guy a lot. He's very valuable as well, right? But the guy, you know, makes all this fucking money. He's in debt with the fucking treasure. Instead, he's going out. He buys a fucking car. And then he fucking buys his wife a car. Now he's trying to buy a fucking Packer. When when is the treasurer gonna see that money back? You know what I mean? I mean, I think that's, I think that's something, I think that's something we should talk to him about after this. Uh, yeah, I think I think we got to talk about no, the, the money. I'll take care of the money part. You know, I, like I don't want him like you guys to pressure around. I'll take care of the money part with him. All right? Yeah, uh, he paid ten k yesterday. He paid ten k uh, on Saturday. Wait, what? Guys, guys, it's it's not the money. Listen, it's not the money. Okay, we need Octo to start thinking crew first, right? If he's making money. And he's and he's doing all these things. He's got to think about what what is the crew doing, right? Because sure, right? He he didn't know maybe he was in debt, but all the shit that's down in that fucking basement didn't grow out of a fucking tree. Yeah, and it's not like anybody can take a good look at that and be like, "This is a lot of money here in this fucking basement. Where's this money fucking coming from?" Yeah, you know raffle I mean? the way that car. Yeah, even right. even 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 if he's got a little bit of extra money after his debt, you know, it's important though that you know maybe the crews maybe the crew could use some of that money. I think Lang put twenty k of his own cash. Into like building the walls inside of the fucking, you know, buying wood and, and shit as well. So yeah, building think, that house think, wasn't cheap. I think, I think, I think at the end of the day, if you have a little bit of extra cash, you know, ask yourself first, like, and this this should go for everybody else in the crew, uh, including us and, and the people that we on board. If you have a little bit of extra cash, think first. Hey, could could the crew use this? Is it you know, is it something that they need right now? If not, maybe I could save it for something else personally. You know, that's fine. But if they need it, make it available at the very least. Have a talk with a Rouge. Be like, hey, Rouge, I got a la- I got an extra five thousand dollars. I'm thinking, uh, you know. Uh, you know, I, I might want to might, might want to save this stuff for like a car or something or for a rifle or whatever. You guys need the money right now or no? You know, something like that. It's it's not about the money. It is about the money, but it's more about like the the, the mindset of the money, right? The mindset. If if you're in debt with the treasurer, and your thought process, is, I'm gonna buy this Porsche first. Fuck the treasurer. It's a terrible mindset to have, right? But if you're a guy at the same page, right? If if you're in debt with the treasurer. And the, at least the money you're working towards, it, 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 it could be $500. Let's say it took you three days to make $500. If that money's going straight to the fucking treasurer, then your mindset's like, okay, I got to take care of the crew and the fucking debt that I'm in first. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-uh. We need people who are in this to think crew first, no matter what. Right. Well, just, my only kind of opinion on this is just because you ain't a Don doesn't mean you get to get away with doing the bare minimum. If people are doing the bare minimum, yeah. then I don't think they're worth having. That is true. That's that's a great. Point. We're all busting our. Everybody's busting their asses. Fucking Tony's been busting his ass at grind, especially since he's gotten this fucking uh, the pounder or whatever. Right? Look look at it. This guy, like like he said, he invested all this fucking money in a couple of days. He's already made that money back. My man. You know what I mean? I know it. Everybody else, Luciano busting his ass, Arush, Harry, myself, even you know has been fucking busting his ass with his fucking Bitcoin shit. Yeah. Right. Octo right, busting his ass, but he's busting his ass and buying his own car. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to prevent the guy from buying a car. But and the car could help us out in the future. But it could I mean, help us out in the future. But he's in debt. Come, you know, the, the guy money would help us out better now. You right. know, money would help us better now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, because think about it. The circuit boards, right? We invested over four. And I, I, listen, 
if I calculated the numbers exactly, it'd be a lot more. I'm just being fruitful here because I don't want to take right. all the money from the treasure pile. But right. 14,500 circuit boards were invested in GPUs since I last checked. Since then, I've already made like maybe six or seven more. So, you know, you could add a couple thousand if you wanted, but I don't care to add that much. It's fine. You know, that, that doesn't come out of thin air. You know what I mean? That, that's a, motherfuckers pay $7 a pop for that. If you did, if you did the fucking math on 14,500, right? Times seven, that's $101,500 that went into GPUs. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I don't care. I'm not bitching. I'm not telling you, you know, you do this, you do that. It's just more of the mindset, right? For me, I, I don't give a fuck about putting these circuit boards because I'm all about this fucking crew, baby. I want to see this fucking succeed. So that $101,000 doesn't mean shit. Right. You know? Now, we just got to gotta make sure everybody that we bring in kind of adopts that mentality as well. Well, that's I wanna the ask, thing. Uh, you know, besides, you know, not financial, obviously, but, I mean, it, it is a topic. Beside the financial side of things, you know, let's exclude this debt. Do you feel like he's been there for you when you need to call him? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, he's very valuable. I mean, when, he, when, it, comes to, when it comes to fucking getting you out of a situation, there's nobody better right. than Octo. There's right. nobody better. You I guess, can't even fucking argue that. You know, that's that's what I wanted to ask. If if you feel like, you know, you Buddy, would call him, the 22 do you months, feel man. like you could, you know, trust him to get you out of a situation or to respond yeah, I mean, to what 100%, you need like to. I said, right? Well, me, I'm just going to speak for myself here, but me personally, I, I don't got any issues with Octo. I know that he's bought in on the side of having your back. He's going to fucking, you know, risk his own ass and shit like that. That right. side, I have 100% confidence. He's in. No problem. I mean, I even called the guy the, guy the other get, day to fucking get out of a stick, uh, sticky situation. He came right away. Right. Fucking and left get, his wife and everything. You know, that, that's just what I want to make sure that not only you feel like that, I want the boys to feel like that too. Because obviously, you know, I, I brought this guy in. And I want you all to feel like, you know, if, if you did call him, you know what I mean? That, you know, he would help you out, whatever the situation is. Whether it's, you know, driving or how many moves, same things. You know, I want all of you to feel that way. And if, if you don't feel that way, I'd like to hear why not. Xing out the financial side of things, you know. What what can he improve for you? And of course, I'm not going to go, you know, do that for him. But, you know, maybe that's a talk that you uh, and, you know, Octo need to have whoever has, you know, that, that situation. Or if nobody has it at all, then great. But I'd like to make sure. I, I, I ain't got no problems with Octo at all. You know, I like the guy. He's, he's, he's a good, good guy. I just think he's got to be a little bit more proactive uh, when it comes to, like, crew shit. And that's it. You know what I mean? Be, be more vocal. Be more proactive. Uh, like the other day, you know, he asked if, if if he could go into the stash and take take some of the weed bags. I mean, of course he can. You know, grab that shit and go, go sell it. You know what I mean? Be proactive. Right. Do, do it on your own. Like, you don't need to ask for that. You already know that you, that you should be or that you can be pushing the stuff. Go ahead. Do it. Like, take initiative. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's it. But uh, yeah. other than that, I ain't got no problem with him at all. At all. He might be looking for a little reassurance. Now that he knows, though, yeah. I'm sure he won't ask anymore. Yeah, yeah. And for me, like I said, uh, Octo, if you, if you X out the financial shit, uh, he's a solid guy for the crew. Uh, he's one of the most valuable when it comes to, uh, you know, for example, we're going to do a fucking, you know, these robbery contracts, right? If something pops up and it's some sketchy shit and we need to fucking get away, we got two guys for that. Right? Octo being number one. No disrespect, Tony. You being fucking number two, right? When it comes to fucking driving. The guy would get you out of fucking any sticky situation. So if we're looking at, if we're looking at purely from a valuable standpoint, right? He's very valuable in that regard. Him as a person, he's a good guy. He fucking listens. Uh, and, and, you know, he's, he's not fucking annoying. You know, he, he doesn't fucking cry and bitch and moan all the fucking time. He's a very solid person. The only thing is the fucking financials. But then if you want to get a little paranoid with Octo, I'm also worried about, you know, He's with his wife all the fucking time, and now if he's hanging out with his old crew and shit, I'm wondering how much that's going to start mixing and fucking, you know, bleeding into each other and if it becomes a problem. It would be my only concern, but it's not, even with that, it's not, it's not like a great concern. It's just something maybe right. I would think about every once in a while. Yeah, to uh, go back on the crew thing a little bit. You know, that was, 